The Premier League Player of the Season nominations prompted plenty of debate, not just around the individuals included but those who missed out. Rodri's absence from the senior list is particularly hard to justify after a stellar season. Bukayo Saka can feel aggrieved too. He does of course feature on the young player list. But unlike fellow nominees Phil Foden, Erling Holland, Cole Palmer, and Alexander Isaac, Saka does not make the cut for the main prize, with Arsenal represented instead by Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard. Those teammates have made huge contributions to Arsenal's title challenge. But it is difficult to look past Saka as the side's most influential figure. With 16 goals, his highest tally yet, and 9 assists, his combined total puts him 7 clear of any other Arsenal player. Those numbers only tell part of the story. Mikel Arteta has leaned on Saka more heavily than ever this term, with Arsenal directing a higher proportion of attacks down their right than any other Premier League side. Gabriel Martinelli's loss of form on the left has put yet more responsibility on his shoulders. Odegaard is part of their right-sided strength too, of course. As is Arsenal's marauding right-back Ben White. But it is chiefly Saka who provides the threat. He is top in the Premier League for touches in the box and second only to Holland for shots. None of this is news to Arsenal's Premier League rivals. But the fact Saka is so often double or even triple marked by opponents only makes those numbers more impressive. The 22-year-old is not just tasked with getting on the end of things, either. He presses ferociously and tracks back diligently off the ball while still finding room to excel creatively too. He ranks fourth in the Premier League for final third passes, underlining his role in unpicking defences, and while there are three players ahead of him for chances created, he is top in terms of expected assists, highlighting the quality of those chances. This level of all-round threat is unique in the Premier League. Saka is the only player this season to have reached double figures for both non-penalty expected goals and expected assists. His combined total of 21.15 puts him behind only Mohamed Salah and Holland. He stands out for his consistency too. Even early in the season, before Arsenal's attack had clicked and as others laboured, Saka almost always delivered, contributing either a goal or assist in all but one of his first eight games, setting the tone for a period in which he often carried the side. It is curious, then, that in the context of such a dazzling season he is not in contention for the biggest individual prize. Arsenal's presence at the top of the Premier League goes more to him than any other player. Few at any club can rival the breadth of his contribution.